this is 739 and this is no longer a source free this has a source this has a source and we're looking for the capacitor voltage here uh, for T is less than zero and T is greater than zero. So in this problem, let's first take a look at T is less than zero. And the circuit looks like this. We have the voltage source and then we have a resistor and we have our capacitor and we have a resistor here that is then connected and this is four ohms and this is one ohm here and this is our capacitor two farads and we have our voltage here and 20 volts here now at time t is less than zero this capacitor is fully charged it's fully charged so all of the current is going this direction all of it so this current here is zero zero there so all the current is going this direction so we can use <coughs> voltage divider to find the voltage across here because the voltage here is the same here so the voltage of the capacitor at uh at at time is time less than zero right is just this v naught and that is equal to one divided by this four plus one these added together times our source which is 20 volts so that comes out to be four volts so since we have a situation here where we have a source our equation for our voltage is going to look something like this. We have V naught for T is less than zero. And then we have this equation Vs plus V naught minus V source times E to the negative T over tau. And this, we use this equation because there is a source. Before we only looked at source free. Remember, we only looked at source free. This problem has a source. So it is not source free. It has a source. So we must use this equation here for our t is greater than t is greater than zero so vs is equal to this 20 volts and v naught we have is equal to this four volts and lastly we need to figure out this time constant let's move this down So what is tau, the time constant? So let's draw this circuit for T is greater than So when this opens up, no current is going around here. So this is really the circuit we have. Now, if we try to find the Thevenin resistance, we will try to find the Thevenin resistance. That means we shut off our voltage source and make that a short circuit. And we're trying to find the Thevenin resistance, well, A, B. And that is equal to 4 ohms. So our time constant is R Thevenin times C, which is 4 ohms times R 2 farads, which is 8 seconds. 8 seconds. 
So now we'll use this equation here. So V of T is equal to our source voltage 20 volts plus 20 or 4 volts minus 20 times E to the negative T divided by 8 which we can simplify as 20 plus or minus 16 E to the negative T divided by 8 for T is greater than 0. So this is our solution here. For part B of this problem, we're doing the same thing. We have sources here, and what we're trying to find is the uh, voltage across this capacitor. So if we take a look at T is less than zero first, this situation, we, this is going to be open, and we have a circuit which is 12 volts, we have our capacitor and then we have our current source here which is two amps. Oh, I forgot one resistor down here. So we have another resistor here, three ohms. So three ohms, two farads, four ohms, and so we have this circuit and we're looking at T is less than zero. Let's do a source transformation here. Our source transformation, remember Vs is equal to Is times R. So that is equal to our two amps times four, which then comes out to be eight volts. So we can transform these two, source transformation, We have, this is four ohms still, and then we have our eight volt, eight volt source now here. Now with this, we can then combine these two. We can combine these two. So if we combine those two, that's 12 minus eight, 12 minus eight, which is four. 4 volts so this is our circuit and at T is less than 0 our current this current here I I is equal to 0 so why is I equal to zero? Well, this capacitor is fully charged. And when that capacitor is fully charged, there's no current flowing. That means that if there's no current flowing, this here is zero volts, zero volts across here, and then zero volts across here. So this is equal to zero. And that would mean our original voltage, our initial voltage, is dropped all across here. So that is 4 volts. Okay. So since we have independent sources here, we need to use the equation uh, for T, T is greater than 0, V of T is equal to the V of source plus v naught minus v source times e to the negative t. Let's make sure I have that equation correct. So that's what, uh, yeah, so that's what we have for t is greater than zero. So we have our v naught is four volts here. Now what is the source voltage? Well, we need two, we have two voltage sources here. So let's redraw this circuit. Let's redraw the circuit. Let's redraw the circuit. So we have 
12 volts. And then we have our capacitor. And at T is greater than zero, this becomes a short circuit. And here, this current is equal to zero because this is a short circuit. And the voltage drop across here, V, is equal to zero because this is a short circuit here. So what we have is this scenario. We have 12 volts and we have our resistor here and it is connected like this. So this is two farads and this is three ohms. So in this circuit here, our Vs is 12 volts. Our, our Thevenin resistance, our Thevenin resistance, if we look at that circuit, we would short here and then here. Our Thevenin resistance, our Thevenin, when this is three ohms, our Thevenin resistance is three ohms. So our time constant, R Thevenin times C, is equal to three ohms times two, which comes out to be six seconds. Okay. All right, so if we plug everything into this equation here, we have the voltage, equals our voltage source which is 12 volts plus 4 volts minus 12 times e to the negative t over 6 and then we can simplify this so we have v t equals 12 volts plus or minus 8 minus 8 e to the negative t over 6 volts, where t is greater than 0. And that is the solution for part b of this problem.